Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm having a problem with one of your services. Is the problem related to product A or product B? Product A. Can you please describe the issue you're experiencing with product A? In one of my previous videos, I talked about building LLM-driven self-organizing multi-agent systems, highlighting the importance of individual agent adaptation. This adaptation is essentially a self-correction process where the agent can evaluate its performance, suggest improvements and apply those changes on its own. I also mentioned that this kind of self-corrective behavior could be achieved using specialized LLM models, allowing agents to autonomously reprogram themselves. In this video, we'll take a more hands-on approach by building a simple proof-of-concept voice assistant that learns from its interactions with the user. After giving a brief overview of the approach, I'll move on to a quick demo that showcases how LLMs enable real-time self-adaptation in a voice assistant. Let's start by outlining our strategy for achieving self-adaptation in our voice assistant. First, we need our agent. For this purpose, I've created a voice assistant that engages in conversation based on the following prompts. The purpose of this agent is to act as a customer care assistant, helping users with issues related to two specific products offered by the company it represents. The interaction between the agent and the user forms a continuous feedback loop. When a user poses a question, the agent generates a response and sends it back. This cycle continues for as long as the conversation is maintained by the user. Beyond the basic agent architecture, we introduce a crucial element, an internal feedback loop that allows the agent to self-correct its behavior based on the current state of the conversation. The key here is the self aspect. It's the agent that controls and executes this process. Looking closer at the self-adaptation module, we see it comprises two components, the evaluation component and the self-correction component. The evaluation component assesses the agent's interaction with the customer using the following prompts. This evaluation LLM acts as an expert with three main goals, to evaluate the agent's efficiency during conversations, identify areas for improvement and propose actionable solutions. The second component, the self-correction module, generates instructions to enhance the original prompt with self-corrections. The instructions look like this. Here, LLM responsible for the self-corrective instructions uses the evaluation model output to propose a new prompt. It's essential to note that this prompt instructs the LLM to consider the original main system prompt. This way, the agent can make balanced decisions by integrating insights from both prompts. This approach allows us to maintain the agent's identity and long-term goals while enabling dynamic self-corrections. Although we've addressed it here in a simple way, it serves an important purpose preserving the agent's overarching objectives while allowing for short-term adaptations. There are many ways to facilitate this and finding the right method can be a challenge in itself. Now that we've covered how self-correction is integrated into the agent, let's move on to the demo showcasing this in a real conversation. In this demo, each interaction epoch or question response pair consists of three sequential calls to LLMs, with the self adaptation LLM calls happening before the main LLM execution. The context sent to the main LLM includes the original system prompt, the self correction instructions, and the complete conversation history. In a production environment, to minimize response latencies, the self-adaptation module would run in parallel with the main LLM. However, for this demo, we've simplified the process by using the faster Grok AI inference engine and the Llama 3.1 8 billion model instead of calling the slower OpenAI GPT-4 model for three times. To further optimize performance, we could develop smaller specialized LLMs tailored for evaluation and correction based on historical data from agent and user interactions.
Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm having a problem with one of your services. Is the problem related to product A or product B? Product A. Can you please describe the issue you're experiencing with product A? I don't know what's happening. Have you been facing logon issues with product A, such as landing on a blank page? I'm not sure. It might be helpful to try restarting your computer, especially if you encounter a blank page when logging into product A. Let me know if that resolves your issue. Mm, sorry, it didn't work. I'm really frustrated. I understand how frustrating this must be. Let's work together to find a solution. Can you provide any other details about the problem you're facing with product A? I'm receiving a blank page when I log on. Thank you for letting me know. Since you tried restarting the computer and it didn't help, let's check if there are any updates available for your system or try accessing from a different browser. Let me know if that works. Yes, updating the web browser worked. Thank you very much. Great to hear that updating the web browser resolved the issue. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Let's look under the hood at a few examples of evaluation and correction prompts at different stages of the conversation. At the start, when the user vaguely describes an issue with a service, the self-correction prompt instructs the main LLM to ask for more clarification since not much information is available. Once the user specifies that the issue is related to product A, the self-correction prompt guides the main LLM to ask more targeted questions about the root cause. If the user replies they don't know the cause, the self-corrective prompt addresses their sentiment by positively encouraging them while also determining if the problem relates to a specific functionality. The main LLM combines this with the original system prompt directly asking if the issue is associated with a known problem mentioned earlier. These examples illustrate how both the original and self-corrective prompts work together to enhance the agent's decision-making process. In this video we've seen how large language models allow for quick prototyping of voice assistants that can self-adapt and self-correct in real time. However, to make them ready for production there are still several key challenges to address. First, to reduce response delays, the self-correction process should run in parallel to the main agent's execution. We could also use smaller purpose-built LLMs with LoRa adapters for the self-evaluation and correction tasks. Second, finding the right balance between how much the main LLM's responses are influenced by self-correction will be crucial. This balance may need to be dynamically adjusted during operation. Third, while LLMs simplify agents' performance evaluation and self-correction, these processes are still complex. They might require more autonomy and control, possibly by treating them as an independent agent working together. This brings us to the concept of a holonic agent architecture, where a single agent is composed of multiple specialized agents working in parallel. Fourth, adding more context to the decision-making process is key. In our proof of concept, we used a simple system prompt with knowledge of how to handle a Logan problem. But as we scale, this approach becomes less efficient. A more scalable solution would be to use retrieval augmented generation, which fetches only the most relevant information based on user input, keeping costs and context size manageable. 
last but not least, before implementing adaptation in real-life scenarios, it's essential to test and evaluate the benefits and risks associated with this mechanism. This aspect hasn't been covered in this video, but is a crucial step for ensuring effectiveness and safety. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions or want to dive deeper into any part of that discussion, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.